A bizarre new twist in the IRS targeting scandal. Government attorneys for the tax agency say they back up everything, including the missing Lois Lerner emails. So why won't they track them down? The answer's coming up. Plus, all right, we are learning that the IRS may actually have those missing Lois Lerner emails after all. Agency attorneys apparently telling Judicial Watch, the group trying to get to the bottom of this whole thing, that they back up everything just in case. Now that may be a different story than you've been hearing since those records disappeared. The actual hard drive after it was determined that it was dysfunctional and that with experts no emails could be retrieved was recycled and destroyed in the normal process. This was So was it physically destroyed? Uh, that's my understanding. Well, because there was a uh, the computer crashed. Let me say it this way, 67,000 emails have been provided to Congress, 24,000 of them come from this period uh, during which her hard drive uh, crashed and which those emails were lost. In April, uh, determined that in fact there had been a hard drive crash and some emails may have been lost. Uh, our next step was to in fact investigate how many emails did we actually have and could we find. All right, Tom Fitton is the president of Judicial Watch. He's been on the front lines of this entire thing. All right, Tom, tell us what you found out, and were you surprised to now hear somebody with the agency saying these emails may never have been missing at all? Right, a Department of Justice attorney told a Judicial Watch attorney on Friday that uh, it turns out the federal government backs up all computer records in, in case something terrible happens in Washington and there's a catastrophe so the government can continue operating. And they say it would be too hard to go get Lois Lerner's it would be too hard to go get Lois Lerner's emails from that backup system. So everything we've been hearing about scratched hard drives, about missing emails of Lois Lerner, other IRS officials, other officials in the Obama administration, it's all been a pack of malarkey. They could get these records, but they don't want to, and they haven't told anyone about it, uh, frankly, until uh, until we were able to get it out of them on Friday. And uh, there's no such thing as Lois Lerner's missing emails. It's all been a big lie. They've been lying to the courts, the American people, and to Congress. It's uh, really outrageous. I mean, that is stunning. If what you're saying is the Justice Department attorney has told attorneys with your group that these emails exist and they've always existed. I mean, we're talking about subpoenas. We're talking about sworn congressional testimony. We're talking about court hearings. We're talking about an order from the judge there in D.C., the federal judge who said, I want everybody to have sworn affidavits and tell me exactly what happened to these. I read those affidavits when they came in a week or two ago, and there was no mention of this. How is that possible? And we're, we've asked the Department of Justice that same thing. And uh, we want to know why they hadn't told the court about this backup system. If this backup system is working, Lo Lois Lerner's emails are there. We know there are a half a dozen other IRS officials whose emails supposedly have disappeared as well. And we've heard from other agencies, like in, uh, over in the HHS, uh, over Obamacare, emails disappearing there. And we've been led to believe that, you know, once they disappear, they can't be found again. When, in fact, they back up everything. As most people suspected, now the government's confirmed. And, you know, we're going to ask the judge in this case for relief. Uh, we're already in a hearing or a mediation session as we speak with the magistrate judge overseeing this discovery issue. Uh, but uh, we got to get these emails. And now we know where they are, where they're likely to be. And the Obama administration needs to get its uh, needs to get on the ball and start retrieving them, as opposed to stonewalling and continuing to obstruct justice. Well, this is a very important piece of information. I got the impression that Judge Sullivan was not happy with the response he got from those affidavits. So we know you'll stay on it, and please keep us updated as soon as you get any more developments here. Thanks, Tom. Sure thing, Dan. Thanks. You know, it's, excuse me, it's interesting that people are watching the total destruction of the global economy. So they'll pass this rule, it's believe it or not called martial law. Pretty impressive, a display of international military might. Thousands of men and women from several different countries all landed on Camp Pendleton. The FEMA camp bill allows the government to run at least six military installations when a national emergency is declared.
These emergency centers would be run by FEMA under the command of the Secretary of Homeland Security.